congratulations on the on the win and your performance. Uh, just how how big did that feel? I I, I think I, I looked this up. I'm pretty sure that was your first stoppage time winner since uh, pre pandemic. Uh, 2020 was the last time I found that you guys won on, in stoppage time uh, before either of you guys were on the team. Um, I don't know how did that feel uh, to win in Vancouver. Also, the first time you guys either of you guys have won in Vancouver. Uh, yeah, um, it felt great. Um, I feel like the team played a really great game and uh, they scored some kind of cheap goals off little mistakes. Um, and But I felt like we, the whole team played really well for 90 minutes. Um, so it was great to get that reward in the end uh, by getting the third goal. Jada Evans. Thanks. Um, you guys have also uh, know if you have uh, had struggles with um, getting the set plays to work, and all three of those goals were off the set plays too. Can you kind of um, you know kind of comment a little bit about about that and and how that worked out for you? Could you hear me? Did you? Yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it's something we've been working on. Um, struggled for a lot of the year, but uh, I mean, just we just kept working on it and. It's great. It paid off. I, I could give some assists to this guy, uh, but yeah, we've I mean, we've been working on it. We're still working on it. Um, and hopefully, there'll be a lot more the rest of the year. And, and Leo, can you um, talk a little bit about those uh, goals and, and the, you know, you just had a lot of hustle, a lot of work, uh, put in a lot of work during the game, and um, how what how good did it feel to to get those, and what did you see to to be able to pocket those? Yeah, yeah, it's so good. Back to score, so I was looking for that. So I'm very happy for Jackson. I will pay him <laughs> some money because two assists are so good for me. So I'm really happy about that. All righty, Miles Vida, go ahead. Kind of staying on that, um, just how important is it to stay active, uh, Leo, when you're active in the goal box and then Jackson – when you have an active forward and the other players, how easy is it for you to get the ball in there and then you score? So how how important is that activity inside the goal box? Yeah, we have 28 on the 20 in the week, in the week so we are prepared for that. So it's working, so we really, really happy for that. In Jackson, I'll, I'll go to the defensive. Just on that, on their goal, I think the two to one, uh, what happened there? It's obviously a miscue, but miscommunication or just surprised at the length of that kick? Uh, no, we weren't surprised. We knew we knew it was coming. Um, but they they tried to do that all game, and it worked out one time where we didn't cover it as well as we should have. Uh, and that's, that's mostly their game plan. It's just play for little mistakes by us and then capitalize, and it, it worked out for them. All right. Thanks, fellas. Uh, Felipe Makeda. Thank you. Uh, congratulations, guys. Uh, my question is for Leo. Uh, Leo, eh, normalmente tú eres el que haces asistencias y en esta ocasión tú la recibiste. ¿Cuál es tu, tu sentimiento al respecto? I, I've talked with JP uh, almost now about that. I'm always trying to assist the guys and today God and, the, and Jackson give me one goal easy for me. So, yeah, it happens. Thank we, you. We, we put back to score. So. Owen Murray. Yeah, Leo, I just kind of wanted to ask you how you guys were looking at width differently against kind of a team that was playing a back three and then kind of how you still stay wide and attack that. Say again, please. Yeah, I just wanted to ask how you guys look at width differently when you're playing a team that's in a back three like Vancouver, but you're still kind of staying wide and a lot of those balls are going to you. Yeah, it, it's look like a little bit different, you know, because usually we play against nine far, but the five is harder for us. But I think today we are, we are so good. All righty. Uh, again, if you'd like to ask a question, please use the hand raise function. I think we've gotten through our first round. Uh, we'll go back for some follow-up. So, Jeremiah, go ahead. Yeah, if you guys could just kind of speak to uh, the play of of Nico and, and JP, 
JP obviously looked like he had got uh, staples uh, to close up a, a wound in his head there. And, and both were just super active and, uh, you know, spraying balls over the, all over the field for you. Uh, yeah, they, they were great. Um, I think the blood on JP's head and him coming back in is a testament to just him being a warrior in that midfield for us, winning everything. Um, and same with Nico. I think they're both huge pieces of this team. Um, have been for a lot of years um, and we need them to keep doing great because they're big pieces of the team. Righty, it looks like we have one more hand at the moment. Uh, so we'll go to Maz next, but again, if you'd like to ask a question, please at the hand raise function or any final questions for Leo and Jackson. Maz, go ahead. Stefan Cleveland's play back there um, and just how, you know, that uplifted the team. You had all kinds of efforts, but, you know, a couple of times he just he was brave back there. Can you just talk about how that lifted the team all game long? Yeah, he was awesome. Uh, and when he makes saves like that, then it gives us all confidence that he's going to cover for us. Um, so it, it was it was super important. I think he had a great game, made some great saves, and also um, did really well with his feet, uh, playing out from the back and helped us break them down. Um, so yeah, very big game overall. And then just this resiliency of the team, it's more of like a coach question, but just how you all were, were resilient in this game. I mean, you came back twice, you were behind, and you've got players getting staple stitches on there. Just what does this mean to this team in terms of resiliency and comeback factor? Uh, yeah, and super important result, I think. And I think it's been a frustrating last month or so um, where I think we've played pretty well, but haven't gotten all the results that we liked, a lot of draws. Uh, so hopefully this can be a turning point for the second half of the season. Because uh, I think we, we were dominant today. This is probably one of our best performances of the year. Leo, you agree? Yeah, I agree 100%. <laughs>